All right, welcome back. This is going to be a video on the USPS shipping plugin or, or option. So the what you want to do here is you're going to go into WooCommerce and you're going to go to settings. And then up here in the top, you're going to go to shipping. And once you're in the shipping tab, you're going to see some options show up here. And one of them is going to be USPS. Now, the, the only way that this is going to show up is if we install the plugin for you and um, you'll have to inquire about us to install it because it is paid, but we can get it for free because we already have it and install it for you. So just go ahead and let us know if you do want this installed because then we'll go ahead and just install it. But once it's installed uh, right here, you can click on USPS and you'll see that the USPS user ID is already connected. There's nothing to do in here. Uh, this is just to gather the rates from USPS. So there's nothing to do here. But if we go into shipping zones, this is where we can actually configure the the shipping for USPS. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this real quick so we can start from scratch here. So I'm going to add a shipping method. And that shipping method, I'm going to choose USPS. And then I'm going to go ahead and hover over it and click edit. And now we're in the settings for the USPS shipping plugin. So we can change the title. Uh, the origin postcode, this is very important and it's required to, for it to work. So you actually have to enter in a postcode or else it's not going to work. So this is going to gather the, the data of where the package is going to be coming from. So then it can calculate how much it's going to charge for shipping. So you definitely put in the, the origin postcode there. You can change um, the tax status. You can change the offer rates, a fallback price, and the fallback is if USPS returns no matching rates, off, it'll offer this amount for the shipping so that the user can still check out. So let's say uh, a scenario that if someone enters an address and the USPS plugin doesn't work or something is wrong or not connecting right, whatever you enter here, so if you enter 10, whatever you enter here, it's going to use this price for the shipping as a flat rate just in case something would happen. And you can also disable this as well if you don't want to use it. But moving down here, the flat rates. So uh, you can um, you can choose if you want to enable the flat rate services. You can disable them, which I don't know why you would. You can enable only the prior priority flat rate, and you can enable only the express flat rate. So here um, are the titles of the uh, shipping options that you can change. Right now they're defaulted to Priority Mail Express Flat Rate or Priority Mail Flat Rate. This is what, is gonna, this is what the customer is going to see on the checkout page when they go to select which shipping option they want. Right now there's two. You can change these if you want. Um, and then you can also tack on an additional fee if you don't think the price that USPS is charging or calculating is right. You can actually put on an additional $5 if you put in a, the number five here. All right, and then uh, lastly down here, you can enable API rates. So if you actually wanted to uh, enable this, a lot of options show up down here and there's, um, you can actually choose which exact uh, shipping method that you're gonna be able to offer. And you can turn these on and off and you can also adjust the price here by entering uh, like a five, you can add on five dollars or if you put a minus five it'll take off five dollars from whatever it calculates you can also do this as a percentage as well so a lot of different options down here um, of changing your shipping options for USPS so if you have any other questions with this go ahead and let us know and then we'll be happy to help all right thank you